Eine Plattform. One platform, four characters, three brands, one promise, and a strong statement for Europe. And with that, let me bid you a warm welcome to the Volkswagen Group stand. Ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted that you that we have you here as our guest this morning on Media Day. What you can see here on stage is not just a new product range. It is the full power of the Volkswagen Group. Our electric urban car family sets new standards. Intelligence scaling as only we can do it. Technology that is otherwise only found in higher segments and a promise of quality that connects millions of people with us and our strong brands. With this new family of vehicles, we are going on the offensive in one of the fastest growing and uh, vehicle classes with the most volume in electric mobility. And we've got a clear goal, a leading position in the entry level segment in our home market of Europe. Why now? Because the time is right, technically, industrially, across brands. Because thanks to hard work, we can offer top technology and top quality at attractive prices. And because we transfer the best solutions from the diversity of our brands to a joint platform. This family shows how we bring the strength of our group to the market. Volkswagen ID Polo and ID Cross Concept, Cupra Raval and Skoda Epic. Each model with its own character, each brand with a clear customer focus and all built together on a single concept. E-mobility for everyone, attractively priced and at the same time economically profitable. Now, what makes this family of cars so special? It brings premium technology into a segment that for many people represents their entry into e-mobility with assistance systems, software, connectivity, all at the highest level. Driving experience with the further developed and award-winning software from the ID7, comfort with smart features such as preconditioning via app, infotainment with access to over 100 applications in the App Store with a unified battery cell, which is used in series production for the first time here, and with an interior that sets new standards, compact exterior dimensions, surprisingly spacious, intelligently connected, fully equipped, and very clear in terms of design language. And on top of that, 100% developed in Europe. 100% produced in Europe for the people who live in Europe. What does that mean for the market? This segment comes with a huge potential. The market for fully electric small cars in Europe will be around four times larger than it is now after 2030, according to the current forecasts. The ramp up of e mobility needs strong impetus right here, and that's exactly what we deliver. One out of five new electric cars in this highly competitive class should come from this family in the future. And every year, we would like to sell several hundred thousands of cars from this model series. That is our goal. We've made our homework. And this is our contribution to the breakthrough of electric mobility in Europe for sustainable mobility and for a strong Europe with a broad range of products suitable for everyday use for the market ramp up with e-mobility that is affordable and effective. Now we need an equally strong commitment from European politicians for framework conditions that are flexibly aligned with the realities of the market, for a sense of proportion in setting those specifications, and for a joint effort 
industry and politics side by side. Ladies and gentlemen, we have set out to become the global technology driver of the automotive industry with the Volkswagen Group. That is our clear ambition. Only recently, we were named the most innovative automotive company worldwide by the Center of Automotive Management Institute in a scientifically based survey in a global competition. So for us, this is a valuable appreciation of what we have achieved over the past few years. And above all, it's an additional motivation for everything that is in the pipeline now. We can do what no other manufacturer can do. We have everything it takes. We cover all relevant market segments from motorcycles to affordable entry-level mobility, premium sports and luxury cars, right through to delivery vans, buses, and heavy trucks. Our customers come from all generations, cultures, civilizations, and regions in this world. We have decades of knowledge to fall back on. We think in terms of platforms and scale across brand segments and regions. And we combine our expertise with the know-how of strong partners. This day marks a milestone in our successful electric strategy. In Europe, we are the clear number one in e-mobility with a current market share of 28%. And our lead is growing. Our order books are well filled. Four of the five best-selling electric cars in Europe currently come from our group. In August, we delivered our group's 3.5 millionth electric vehicle to customers. So, the Volkswagen Group is delivering, and now we're igniting the next stage. The electric urban car family stands for new beginnings, for accessibility, for lifestyle, and for progress in the best sense of the word. Mobility for all, from the group for Europe. And the electric urban car family stands for something completely different also, something that you might not even expect in the entry-level segment right away, i.e., for for genuine driving pleasure, for dynamism, for character, for emotion. And because that's our tradition, here comes another model that demonstrates exactly that. Welcome to a new league also for GTI enthusiasts. Stylish, isn't it? Well, I'm all out enthusiastic about this. The GTI is the major icon of Volkswagen, and I believe this is really awesome to see how this GTI label has now been transferred into the e-mobility world. So I and you all, of course, would like to know what this car can do. It has mechanical limited slip differential, adaptive suspension, 1,550 kilograms of curb weight in an electric car. That's a benchmark, and it's really fun to drive, a real GTI. So it's going to be amazing in this car family, and it looks really hot. It's a typical GTI. Thank you, Oli. Now, dear media guests, good morning, and welcome to the IAA here in Munich. Next year, we will be celebrating 50 years of GTI. That's the perfect time to launch the first fully electric GTI. And the Polo GTI was a project that was really close to our hearts, because a GTI is not just any kind of car. No, it's an amazing car. It's awesome. Maybe even a bit of a kind of lifestyle, attitude towards life, driving pleasure, precision, character. These three words trigger something in a lot of people. And this is why 
it's so incredibly important for Volkswagen to launch the right GTI, no compromises. And the ID Polo GTI is only the tip of the iceberg. It's the sports car, the athlete in our family, in our electric urban car family. And it's a joint project by the brand group Core. In other words, the volume brands of the Volkswagen Group, Skoda, Seat Cupra, Volkswagen, and a brand group Co is a name that we now all are very proud to wear, to use as the name for our group, because it's more than 60 percent of the volume in our group, and that gives us huge economies of scale. And it's an inexhaustible expertise thanks to our international team. To me, it was clear right from the outset that we really have to bring all of these strengths to the road together. So over the past three years, we developed a joint vision. Strong, distinct brands for the customers, really distinct, differentiated, but also powered by a very lean, efficient engine room. And we have been working together on important issues such as battery cost software and also develop of new regions, important topics for all of us, and we made a lot of progress. Our sales in the first half of the year was increased by 5%, and our market share in Europe, 19.7% is the improvement in market share that we achieved. One in five cars on the roads in Europe is a brand group core car, and very soon we hope that this will be many more. And thanks to our electric urban car family, we should be able to achieve it. All of these cars were developed on one platform, and all of these are using one modular concept, and as a result, more than 600 million euros of cost can be saved throughout the life cycle of the project. And also, we are offering our customers premium technology in all of these cars, well, quick charging, LED matrix lights and travel assist with a lane keeping assistance and lane changing function, traffic light recognition, parking with a smartphone, mobile device key, area view 360. We are offering all of these features. And these are features which normally you only find in high-end vehicles or higher um, classes of vehicles. And at the same time, we have four completely different categories. Characters. So let's start with the Volkswagen ID Polo. It's a car which is in very important to me because it's the first model to be developed under my responsibility as the CEO of the Volkswagen brand. Now, the ID Polo, it stands for everything that Volkswagen is all about. Finally, proper names again, a new design language called pure positive. So this means stability, likability, and always a little bit of um, extra. Our design um, head, well, Andy Mint, always calls it our secret sauce. One example is, um, you know, the rims of the GTI Polo, the golf ball, which you know from the selector lever, it's shown as well. So we didn't lose it. Uh, it's part of the electric future. Fa Volkswagen has traditionally stood for intuitive operation. So we got that sorted too. We have buttons on the steering wheel again, simple climate control features, a large display for the driver with 10 inches, and we are going to take a look at it on the ID Cross in a moment. And on the ID Pole, you get it at an entry level price of 25,000 euros, so it's a real car for the people, a Volkswagen. But there are some people who say, well, a people's car, but that's not exactly what I want. I don't want a Volkswagen, a people's car. They want something different, something more radical and unconventional. For this purpose, we have the Cupra Raval 19-inch wheels, um, lowered sport suspension, progressive steering, limited slip differential, and the design is a tribute to the Barcelona Raval district. The map is integrated directly into the camouflage pattern. Now at the front you can see the shark nose, which is typical of a Cupra. It's a real hot hatch with performance and character. And the first member of the family, which will be launched next year. All of these models were developed by Seat Cupra in Spain and will be built in Martorell and Pamplona. This one too. So that's the Skoda Epic. We call it the adventurer in our lineup. So this is aimed at active, curious people, outdoor enthusiasts. And the first Skoda, which fully embraces the new modern solid design language. Another thing that's really typical is its tech phase at the front. 
Chevron. Our head of design at Skoda, Oli Stefani, is a big Star Wars fan. So maybe you can see some kind of tributes to Star Wars. I think it's a really progressive design, which we see here. Compact, very spacious inside, priced on a par with its sibling, the Kamik. Simply clever through and through. Practical, affordable, and always a little bit more than what you would expect. Typical of Skoda. Last but not least, a car which at our dealer event in March in Düsseldorf always got standing ovations. The Volkswagen ID Cross concept. It's a Volkswagen, and it must have a friendly face, being a Volkswagen, clear contours. You can also see a straight window line which goes all the way um, along the window. And again, it's clearly the pure positive design language which we announced. And in the interior, we have real buttons again. We have buttons on the steering wheel. We have the 10-inch driver's display. And we have um, climate control with decent buttons again. We have premium features such as massage, seats, harm and card and sound system, and also automated driving functions. All of this was now brought into this car. And a hidden trunk under the real trunk or luggage compartment, two crates of water bottles. So seven well, crates of water bottles now fit into the car, which is revolutionary for this size of car. Now, it's really a crowd pleaser, and it's very close to the production version. And this shows you once again that we at Volkswagen have really listened carefully to our customers, and we incorporated our customers' feedback into our cars. We are now delivering on our promise. We are delivering. So this is our electric urban car family. It's a joint project, and it shows what is possible when we work together as brand group core. This is the future of urban electric mobility, and it starts right here. Mobility for everyone from the Volkswagen Group for Europe. Thank you very much. My colleagues, Markus Hauptklaus, please join me here on the stage.